You know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> You know what time it is. It's time for I and I to comment, to comment, um, you know, to comment on this, uh, to comment on this particular news story. You see, this is um, that kid, Aton Pates, Aton Pates, Pats, Pates, right? Remember that missing kid story from some years ago? If you're old enough, you remember, but if you're not old enough, this is all like, all brand new and stuff, but a lot of us who are, you know, old enough remember 33 years ago. I think I wasn't even a teenager then, you know, but I was approaching like my bar mitzvah age myself, and there's this uh, kid, Aton Pates, all over the news. There was all these stories and everything about missing children. I remember my parents, you know, they were Maybe you call them strict in their own way, you know, and really I didn't, wasn't allowed to be loose and run around. It, you know, it's a different time, as folks would say, not getting all into that aspect of the story. But anyway, just want to remind you, you know, some of these pictures here so you know what we're, you know, speaking about. But I started to notice in listening to all this hype, and especially listening to how these news people, since it's happening here in New York, in the Soho area, I started to notice how all these news people are speaking. You know, when you start to become really conscious, you start to really listen to word. You start to, you know, become keen to certain things that before, almost like an animal, you didn't really recognize or you really didn't, you know, you really didn't look at at all. So, here, this um, Aton Pates case. Now, they're trying to say that it's this guy right here. You understand? Know this guy right here. I forgot his name. Leonel or Othenio. Othenio Miller. Right? They say he suffered some heart attack or something like that. Health problems and perhaps, um, you know, some information and dogs were sniffing and smelled some scent. And now they got a whole bunch of new technology. But there's a there's a lot much more to this so-called Aton Pates case, you know, Pat's case. Pat's, I'm thinking of like Patsy. And the Eton, uh, it slips me right now, but it's, I think, obvious that he's um, considered to be a Jew. They had his, um, either his grandfather or something on the news, even though that wasn't a, really a big aspect of the case, his... Um, um, so-called ethnicity or religion or so forth and so on as far as, you know, being uh, Jewish, you know what I mean? But there's that connection to it as well. Now, this case, after 33 years, now, you know, talk about mass distraction. After 33 years, it becomes front and center in the news again, you know, because they found that this six-year-old boy, who was missing, there's some so-called new lead. So they're checking this person's house, Othenio Miller's house, because some dog picked up on some scent that could be a dead body. And, you know, you got all these FBI people, so forth and so on, you know, using your tax dollars. And what they're doing is they're looking for this 33-year-old missing boy that already has been declared dead. Now, one thing I noticed in this story, and this is the main reason why I'm even taking some time to, you know, get into this and want to share this with um, my subscribers and our subscribers here on the Ethiopian World Net, is that there was another aspect, because, you know, some of us who lived through this, this is 33 years ago, so even being young, we paid attention to a lot of this lost, missing children. We saw how, you know, my parents were strict in their own sort of way and would not let me around strangers, so forth and so on, and were very protective. And um, there was one aspect of the story that wasn't that wasn't mentioned in the recent news. They're talking about all the possible people, and they're, I think they're trying to peg it on this guy right here. You know, they're trying to peg it on this guy right here now. Um, even though they already had suspected him before, this guy, the so-called black guy, you know, even though there's another guy that they suspected too. But then I notice one thing they don't talk about. 
Do you remember, those of y'all who are old enough, do you remember there was this so-called man-boy love association? There was a man-boy love association. Some so-called pedophiles are really Western European tradition, you know, going back to Greece and even Hadrian, you know, the Roman emperor, if you study those aspects, where they would have these... um. Um, man-boy relationships as some type of love, some type of uh, Western white civilization kind of thing. Cause it goes back to ancient Greece and ancient Rome. Man-boy love association. So what we, what we did is, you know, we went here and we looked this up. And let's share this with you right here. Okay, now, as we're looking at this right here, let's see if we can get a a good view of this, right? As we're looking at this right here, right, Man, boy, love association. Let's see what's up here. They have rape information on a rape. Um, it says, uh, which ultimately lost credibility. One piece of evidence, they say right here, which ultimately lost credibility was a photograph that seemed to link Et Etan Pate's fate to the North American Man, Boy, Love Association. I, m I remember this really distinctly, you know, um, and nothing whatsoever about this has been mentioned in this recent um, Eton Eton Pate's um, media storm. It's, it's you know it's like this guy's a celebrity or something like that, and they've really found nothing. But you're hearing about this all over the place. This is a, there's a bigger campaign going on. Remember, this was 33 years ago. 33 years ago, he was six years old, and if you know how. You know, they like to play with numbers and use certain numbers. And even one of the news people said that this particular story, it conjures all these sort of images. It conjures. You know, um, we hear some of the psychiatrists talking about how this shapes people's consciousness, so forth and so on. You know, even though there's been many, plenty of missing children and black children, black girls and boys and Hispanic um, boys and, and girls as well who are missing, and we hear little to nothing about it. I mean, in fact, there's a girl who went missing, a black girl, um, who was supposed to be taken away from her mother who went missing um, recently over the last couple of days, and now they... You know, even though they, they didn't respond to it in the same way because, you know, we still live in a racist, a post-racial racist society because they never really fully addressed these particular issues. And the issue even with the Trayvon Martin is just another example. The sheep will got to wake up or the sheep will are going to head to the slaughter. You know, that's just the plain deal. Let's just keep it real. Either the sheep will wake up or the sheep will are heading to the slaughter because it ain't nothing changed. It's the same old game. It's like the same, it's like repeats, you know, it's like it's in syndication now. But anyway, this Eton Pates thing, I, I want to know what some of you older folks, if some of y'all remember this particular thing, you know, if you're, if you're older than um, 33, you know, and lived in the New York area. And or even if you didn't live in the New York area, maybe people outside of New York area were, were hearing about this. But do you recall there was that man boy love association? That that whole thing about the man boy love association. If you just go Google it, Google it for yourself. Google Eton Pates. Here's what we did right here. We Googled Eton Pates man boy love association. A whole bunch of information right here. They say that this, this, this organization, NAMBLA, was falsely linked to the disappearance of Eton Pates. But really what I recall from that time is that when this whole idea of such a society or organiza a social organization or fraternity or whatever they may call themselves, this North American man-boy love association, which is clearly pedophilic, it also has a homosexual kind of character, and perhaps it's because of the rise of the homosexual um, psychological agenda that's been very successful. That that might be one of the reasons why. We